Local sports from KTBO. Good evening, everybody. Let's start with high school basketball. It's the Atumba boys hosting Lincoln. Atumba win white. Nice drive by Faith Pope. Then it's the freshman, Carter Burns, who gets the rebound and the basket underneath. Nice hustle. Atumba would go on to win it 62 to 60. In the girls game, it's a Tumbo's Rachel Hindball who drives for two. Then the Bulldogs would go outside. Kelsey Nickerson would get the long three. Hindball was hot tonight as she will hit again on the baseline. A Tumbo came away with a win. The final 49 to 31. In other girls action, Milan was hosting Scotland County. Milan and White, Bianca Caponetto hits the baseline jumper. Scotland County's Haley Dial is dialed in. She gets the bounce and the basket. Here come the Wildcats in transition. Andrea Sylvester will score. Good game tonight. Check out Jordan Dunlap, who does the damage. Milan would go on to win it. Final 41 to 37. In the boys' game, Milan's Derek Price is pure on the jumper. Scotland's Gordy Jackson would counter with a baseline three of his own. Milan's Mason Clark. It was hot in the paint, but Scotland County would prevail the final tonight, 79 to 58. In other boys' games, Crooksville lost to Moberly 64 to 41. Knox County beat Schuyler County 54 to 40. In girls' action, Schuyler County beat Knox County 47-45, and Van Buren beat Troy Buchanan 52 to 48. In college basketball, Indian Hills was home to take on Moraine Valley. It was a packed house at the Hellyer Center. Roderick Bobbitt gets the basket for Indian Hills. It's the Warriors on the run. Give the basket to DeAndre Buckley. Then it's Spearman who will hit the glass for two. Indian Hills cruises the final, 89-67. to 67. Big game tonight in Ames. Iowa State defeated Iowa 86-76. to 76. Royce White led the Cyclones with 17 points. The Truman State men's basketball team will travel 242 miles tomorrow as they head to beautiful downtown Topeka to face Washburn. The Bulldogs have had little success at Lee Arena as they are only 3-25, and 25, but Truman State has won their last two games thanks to balanced scoring as they have four players averaging in double figures. Speaking about bad karma in Kansas, is there any other kind? The Truman State women's basketball team has lost 18 straight to Washburn, but this group of Bulldogs are off to a 7-1 start, and they play with a purpose and passion. This game will be a measuring stick to see how they fare against one of the top Division II teams in the country. Oh, absolutely. And we played well in uh, Topeka the last couple of years. We've kind of let, we've gave, give it away in the last six, eight minutes of the game. So, you know, this, like I told our players, we're a different team. Washburn's a different team. Um, we show up to play for 40 minutes, and that's going to be the whole key for us. There was some great wrestling at the Tiger Classic tonight. Let's start at 132 pounds. Kirksville's Austin Roper would pin Camaro Schwartz of Troy Buchanan as he made it look easy. Let's move to 138 pounds. Three times state champ Justin Van Hoos would also get a pen tonight in front of the home folks. Well, I, I love that orange mat. As you can see, Travis Lang, the other member of the big three, has the same result at 182 pounds. Guys, get out of the way. Freshman McKenna Cook looked impressive. He would get the job done against Travis Meyer at 160 pounds. And you know what? He is really pumped up as he would get the pin tonight. The Tigers' Ethan Rentschler was a winner at 106 pounds. Team-wise, Kirksville beat Springfield Central 70 to nothing. The Tigers stopped Centerville 63 to 15, and they defeated Troy Buchanan 45 to 27. Wrestling will continue tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock.